They come from all across the world, from many different lands. The brave from Britain, the confident from America, the determined from Japan, and anyone else, anywhere else, who wants to step up to the challenge. 100 challengers compete across a four-stage obstacle course devised by the devil. Success means glory. Failure means humiliation. It truly is win or die. Many have tried. Very few have succeeded. But they all have one goal: to become the next champion. This is Ninja Warrior of Halo. Hello guys, I'm Hunting at 751 and welcome back to the finale of Ninja Warrior of Halo Tournament 20. We started with 100 challengers who came to take on the four stage obstacle course, looking for revenge after the bloodbath performance of stage 1 in the last tournament. And whilst we saw plenty of improvement, we did still see plenty of top competitors and rising stars fall at the first hurdle. On stage 2, the 9 survivors were then cut down to 5, with 4 competitors eliminated in the first half of stage 2. But 5 competitors are now still in the game. Grand Champion Smokey Massacre got the fastest time on stage 2, and he is joined by Flame Vortex and Swantron97, who will both be taking on the third stage for their first time ever. Alpha Puma, who was the only competitor to reach stage 3 in the last tournament, is still in the game in this tournament, and Ump Double Ump, the host of Aborigines Warrior and Halo Jumping Legend, is also back in Stage 3. These five heroes are our last hope in Tournament 20, but now... They face their toughest challenge in the third stage. With only one competitor having made it to this stage in the last tournament, unsurprisingly, the third stage remains unchanged. Eight obstacles, starting, as usual, with the propeller bars. This then leads into the Globe Grasp, which was brought back in the last tournament, but with a twist on the old version of it. You now have to head forwards, then down, and then straight back up, leaving the margin for error low. You then head on to the new Devil Steps, a new obstacle introduced in the last tournament, and then the ever-deadly Cliffhanger. It's already taken out six competitors, and only Puma and Smokey have so far managed to defeat it. We then head on to the relatively straightforward jumping bars, and then the hang climb, which eliminated Puma in the last tournament. Following that is the spider flip, which so far no competitor has managed to defeat, but if anyone does get past it, they will head on to the final ring. There is unlimited time on this third stage, and the only limit on our competitors is how long they can last on the obstacles. Let's head down to the spectators and hear from our final five challenges. Uh, making it to stage three is, of course, a big deal on any course, um, especially a course with a lot of history. Dude, on stage three, any obstacle can just completely wreck you and just ruin your dreams. The first one, third, second, third, all of them, cliffhanger especially, the deeper you get into the stage, the more terrifying it is to be doing a live run. We'll just see how it goes. Feels good making it to, making it here the first time on stage three. I'm worried, but I'm excited either way. Cliffhanger, that's definitely my target. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Uh, this uh, third stage, it's gonna be pretty tough, so. Uh... I don't know how far I can make it, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, the obstacle I'm most worried about is uh, those devil steps, because I only beat it once in practice, and uh, so they've just been throwing me around a lot. Uh, it's good and all, but like this is final stage or bust, so if I don't make the final stage, I'm going to be kind of upset, but uh, you know. It feels really good to be back on stage 3, because you know, a little while ago I had a good streak where I was getting to stage 3 pretty much every tournament, and then, I mean, I got, I got total victory in 16 and then 17 I got back to stage 3 so I felt like I was still going good and then uh, 18 and 19 happened and it was just the decline so I was hoping that I wasn't losing it and I think uh, I think this tournament has kind of proven that I still have it and 
I'm hoping to put on a good show here on stage three. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get past the uh, the cliffhanger. That's always the goal, you know. I like to get past the first half of stage three and then just see what goes on from there. I I, I won't be disappointed if I don't beat stage three. I feel like stage three is the one I can always fail and be happy with. Stage two is complete. 100 challengers have now become five. The fabulous five, the fantastic five, the fortuitous five, but will they be the failing five? In 20 tournaments in this course's history, only a handful of challengers have ever defeated this third stage. Do any of these final five have what it takes to make history and climb the final stage to become a grand champion? In this landmark tournament, our first challenger is at the start line. Will he set the precedent and a good starting mark amongst our final five challengers? This is Swantron97 with his gang, his bros, Snaz, Bubba Ace, and Chris. They're all out. They are all rooting for Swan to keep his tournament going just a little bit longer. This has been a great tournament so far for the co-host of ABS. And there is the other co-host of ABS, Ump Double Ump, who's gonna be running the first stage later. He has high expectations for Swan. That's why he's waiting all the way at the end of stage three. Can Swan get that far? This is his first time taking on the third stage. Eight obstacles, no time limit. Let's see how Swan is going to do. Making his way across the propeller bars. This has been the staple first obstacle on the third stage on Halo 5. Precise jumps across each of these bars. Swan has made it look pretty straightforward, to be honest. But straightforward it is not. Now he heads straight onto the globe grasp. This is, of course, a classic obstacle from back in the Halo 4 days. Um, revamped and brought back in the last tournament. We saw Puma take this obstacle on last time out and handle it pretty nicely. The obstacle starts off the same as the old globe grass going forward, but then you have to do the drops down and time your jumps right so you don't slide off. And then you have to go back up. You have to get these jumps spot on. Otherwise, you won't get a chance to save yourself, but Swan has made it past the first one. He's using the wall to get a bit more momentum, and he's made the second one. And now on to safety and the Devil Steps. This was a new obstacle in the last tournament, and again, we saw Puma get past it. Got to climb up these steps. Be careful not to get bumped by the wall, but Swan can't do it! He misses the jump to the second step and that is the end for swan's incredible tournament the co-host of Abor aborigines warrior abs awesome job by swan to get this far but he just didn't get that jump right on the devil steps we saw puma make this obstacle look easy in the last tournament but for swan that was not the case he just got the jump all wrong Snaz and Bubba watching on. They are gutted for Swan, but a great tournament it has been. His second time clearing stage one in this tournament. His first time getting to the third stage. He has done himself proud. Bubba is happy and proud. I'm sure that's exactly what Swan wanted, Bubba's admiration. But ultimately for Swan, it is game over for him in tournament 20. Great run though. So that is our first competitor down and out. How will our second challenger fare on the third stage? Getting some support and one last smack from Rog. This is Flame Vortex 03. This is his first time on the third stage and he is the 30th different competitor to reach the third stage in 20 tournaments of this course's history. Great milestone for Flame to achieve. And he's been building up a little bit of impressive performances on Halo 5. In three tournaments, he's three out of three on the first stage. And this is his first time 
making it to the third stage. How far can he get? Eight obstacles, and he's on the way on the propeller bars. Flame, the competitor formerly known as My Mom 47, he has come a long way since that infamous gamer tag when he rocked up on the Xbox 360. He made his debut in tournament 15 and then skipped the next two tournaments or missed the next two tournaments for returning on Halo 5. Look how far he has come now. As he makes his way onto the globe grasp. He set himself the target he wanted to get to the cliffhanger. But of course, he's going to have to get past the devil steps that just took Swan out. He's setting himself up nicely through these first set of globes. Eyeing up the drop down, taking his time a little bit more. Smart move by Flame, he goes for it now. Oh, but he doesn't get a good jump, he saves himself, but it's not enough! And that is the end of the road for Flame! His first try at the third stage comes to an earlier exit than he was hoping for. He just got that jump wrong, he used the superstructure to try to arch his landing, but all it did was push him away from the ball. He got a save jump, but it wasn't enough to save himself. Flame is out, and Rog, who went out on stage one, is gutted for Flame. He shoots the water, and Flame's dead corpse in, flush in frustration. Flame is undone on the globe grasp. A fantastic effort though, just like Swan, to get to the third stage in this tournament and to get here for his first time. But it is the end of the road for Flame and his corpse that Rog just beat to death. Bad luck to Flame. That's two in, two out, and just three competitors left. We've seen the donkey, now it's time for the Godfather. Next up on stage three is Ump Double Ump. This is Ump's seventh time taking on the third stage, with his first attempt coming all the way back in Tournament 6 on the old Halo Reach course. In his six previous attempts, he's always had a nemesis on this stage. On his first two tries, he went out on the pillar path, the second obstacle, in both attempts, although at least in Tournament 8, he did secure his first and so far only first place finish. He then failed Stage 1 in back-to-back -back tournaments, and once he made it back to the third stage in Tournament 11, he failed the Pillar Path again. When he made it to the third stage in Tournament 14, the Pillar Path was now gone, but he found a new nemesis in the Cliffhanger. His failure on it in both Tournaments 14 and 15 Saw him break new ground, with Tournament 15 being so far his personal best on this course. And his last attempt on the third stage came in Tournament 17 on the MCC, where he faced off with the new version of the cliffhanger, but it was the same old story as he once again dropped out. After a slight misstep, failing Stage 1 in the last tournament, he's back to his usual standards, and he's made it to the third stage. The question is, can the co-host of Aborigines Warrior and one of the most historic competitors in Halo Jumping history stand and deliver in this landmark 20th tournament? Ump double ump. His first time on the third stage on Halo 5. It now means he's made it to the third stage in four different Halo games. On this course, at least. There's Snars, Smokey, Fireball, and Chris. Snars, Fireball, and Smokey all were there to see Ump take on the third stage in Tournament 17. Can Ump get back to that cliffhanger and maybe get even further in this 20th tournament? It's great to have a competitor as experienced and as skilled as Ump make it to the third stage. How far can he go, though? Can he get as far as his co-host of ABS, Swan, did? Making his way across the propeller bars, taking some save jumps to make sure. Not taking any chances. That is a sign of an experienced veteran like Um. And he's on to the globe grasp. Making his way quickly to the second one. 
in a save jump. Lining himself up for the third one. And another save jump. Now he's going for the one down. This is where Flame just failed, but he gets it right. Can he get the second downhill drop, though? Goes for this one as well, and he's safe as well. Now to go back up. Nice. Can he get this last one? Yes, he can. And it means, or it looks like, Ump is going to be taking on the Devil Steps as well. This was the obstacle he was worried about. He said it in his interview, and it's where Swan dropped out moments ago. He's lining himself up, taking his time. He goes for it, but it's not enough. He can't do the Devil Steps either. He almost got it. He just landed on the very edge, but he slipped off. And Ump goes out on the Devil Steps just like Swan did. He almost made the jump, but he just bounced off of it. Let's take a look at it again. He lines himself up, takes his time. He was worried about this obstacle, and he was right to be worried about it. He goes for it, but he's just short, just like Swan was, and it bounced him to the other side. It almost made it look like he made it. But made it, he did not. The crowd watches another competitor drop out early on the third stage. These devil steps, Puma made them look like a piece of cake. But now they have taken out their second competitor so far in this tournament. That is three competitors out now and no one has made it past the devil steps. But our next competitor will be confident of getting past that obstacle and confident of beating this stage. He is a man on a mission today. Back on the third stage for his third time is Alpha Puma. Since Puma made his debut in Tournament 15, he has undoubtedly established himself as the rising star on this course, and he showed how far he can go after just two appearances. But like many of us, he then initially struggled to get to grips with this new generation of the course, but he bounced back and made his return to the third stage in the last tournament, where once again, he showed us just how skillful he is, becoming the first competitor so far to defeat this version of the cliffhanger on Halo 5. But perhaps we shouldn't be all that surprised. Puma has been impressing everyone since his early days in Halo jumping, and he has carried that on into the newer courses. In the first ever Spartan Sasuke tournament, he was one of the first ever competitors to reach the third stage and ended up coming in second place in Tournament 1. Now that Puma has established himself as one of the top stars in Halo jumping, he has set himself a goal. He wants to make it to a final stage on one of the major jumping courses. And he's had a taste for getting close twice on Halo Ninja Warrior, getting to the last jump in both tournaments 14 and 15, but coming up short both times. So can Puma take that extra step and make it to the final stage? Can he make it to the final stage for the first time ever in his jumping career in this 20th tournament. Will he be climbing that tower to total victory in just a few short moments? Will he be celebrating a stage three success? We're about to find out. Alpha Puma, the first competitor to make it to the third stage twice on Halo 5. He is itching to get going. He's itching for the off. He climbs the stairs for another crack at this near impenetrable, near impregnable third stage. Does Puma have what it takes? Has he learned from his mistakes in the last tournament? Eight obstacles, no time limit for Puma. If there's any competitor not just out of this final five, maybe out of the entire 100 competitor tournament. There's one competitor that has expectations for himself. The highest expectations, it is probably Puma. The K 
captain of save jobs. He's taking a save job on every single one of these bars just to make sure. And he makes his way onto the globe grasp. Making his way quickly through the globe grasp as well. Picking up the pace from Puma. Ooh, a little bit of lag. He has been suffering with quite a bit of lag so far in this tournament. Let's hope it doesn't hinder him on this third stage run. Tries to build up momentum. You've got to get the momentum here because if you don't get enough distance, you won't have a chance to save yourself. It really is an all or nothing jump going back up those globes. Now for the devil steps. Two competitors have failed this obstacle so far, but he gets past the jump where they failed. Puma was the pioneer in the last tournament because he was the first competitor to take on these devil steps and he beat them. It looks like he's on his way to beating them again. He's got to be careful going down. He's got to be careful this jump. It's close, but he made it look like a piece of cake. Now for the cliffhanger. He became only the second competitor to defeat this Shin cliffhanger on, it, on the Xbox One. And he was the first person to do it on Halo 5 in the last tournament. But can he do it again? He lines himself up. He goes for it. He gets a save jump. Making his way across. And yes, he does. Puma defeats the cliffhanger once again. Celebrated it with a little bit of lag as well. He's halfway through the third stage. But the worst is still to come for Puma. He thought the first four obstacles were tough. They're only going to get tougher from here on out for Puma. As he steps up to the jumping bars. He does have a little bit of respite with these jumping bars. They are relatively straightforward. And this is the kind of obstacle that suits Puma. Taking a few save jumps on each bar just to make sure he gets it right and he's nice and secure. And now for the business end of stage three the hang climb this is the obstacle where he failed in the last tournament there's um double lump in the background watching on to see if puma is heading to third stage glory he makes the jump where he failed last time now he's in uncharted territory in this tournament make his way up onto that larger rock without getting pushed away by the rock wall which he's managed to do now for this jump onto the flat piece. It doesn't look that difficult, but with that wall pushing you away from the rocks, it makes it even tougher. Can he time it right? Oh, Puma! Okay. I guess his lag meant he failed and he did it. Nice job, Puma. He's up. He's still got a few more jumps to go. He's got to get this jump spot on though taking his time playing it safe playing it smart shoots it he goes for it and he makes that jump as well each of these jumps gets him one step closer to that final stage that, that final stage that he desperately craves he's past the hang climb and he's the onto the spider flip this is the obstacle that Smokey failed in Tournament 17 on the MCC. This jump here is where Smokey failed. Can Puma do it? Yes, he can. He's up. The final stage in the background. He makes the transfer across, takes the save jumps rather than trying to stick it, makes his way down the other side. And Puma is in uncharted territory for any competitor in this era of the course. No competitor has got this far on stage three since Smokey achieved total victory. He is on to the last obstacle, the final ring. Head down the head slide, drop onto that first ring, make the jump to the second ring, and then one final jump. He goes up the first ring. What's Puma doing? He goes for the second ring. He goes right for it. Puma! No, Puma! It's over! Puma is out on the last jump of stage three. Alpha Puma was looking so good. He was the first person to get past the devil steps in this tournament. He beat the cliffhanger again, just like he did in the last tournament. He got past the jump that he failed 
in Tournament 19 onto that small rock and then pushed on into uncharted territory, becoming the first ever competitor to beat the spider flip. But on that last jump, he went up the first ring. That's fine. But then when he went for the final jump, he maybe rushed it a little. That final jump is so pin perfect. That little green line on the ring is where you have to jump from. You can't go up the last, the second ring. And he jumped at a slight angle. He jumped sideways on. Was that costly for Puma? And is the reason why he came up short. Either way, it is game over for Puma. And that is utterly heartbreaking. He came within one jump of reaching the final stage and achieving his dreams. But he has not achieved them in this tournament. Which leaves us with just one competitor left but we have arguably saved the best till last. Can this man save the hopes of all of our competitors in this tournament? The last man standing in tournament 20 is the all-star and grand champion, Smokey Massacre. This is actually Smokey's first time being the last man standing since his final stage climb to total victory in Tournament 16. While Smokey's debut all the way back in Tournament 5 was not the hot start that many of our top competitors have had on their debuts, it just makes Smokey's story all the more impressive as he has risen up and to establish himself as one of the best competitors in Halo jumping history. This will be Smokey's eighth time taking on the third stage. He first made it in Tournament 11, which started a long run of consistency for Smokey. Although he initially struggled to get to grips with the third stage, in Tournament 13 he made great strides forward on the third stage, and then followed that up in Tournament 14 by making it to the final stage for his first time. After achieving total victory in Tournament 16, he made it back to the third stage again in Tournament 17, where a brand new course led to the same old results. Smokey powered through, becoming the first competitor to beat the new Shin Cliffhanger before he was unceremoniously wiped out at the Spider Flip. Now, after a couple of missteps in the last two tournaments, Smokey is back on stage three. Now he faces the third stage, with all of the other 99 competitors having now been eliminated, and all the hopes rest on his shoulders. The question is, can the competitor that is arguably the greatest of all time in this course's 20 tournament history light up the show once again? Smokey Massacre. He made it to the third stage a record seven times in a row from tournaments 11 through to 17. And although he took a step back after that, failing stage two in tournament 18, and then failing the first stage in the last tournament, he is back to his usual standards. He punches his fellow competitors. Puma, who's only just been eliminated, is there supporting Smokey. That is what you call camaraderie. Atlantic and Weapon Mat also down there as well. Smokey Massacre. His eighth time taking on the third stage. His first time since tournament 17, and his first time on Halo 5. Eight obstacles, no time limit. How far can the Grand Champion get? A lot of these obstacles will be new for him, with this being his first time taking on the third stage in tournament uh, on Halo 5. It's quickly transferred though to the third one, a bit like what we saw Swan do earlier. Making these look pretty easy. And now he's on to the globe grasp. This is an obstacle he is familiar with from Halo 4. This is Smokey's eighth time on the third stage. Only Re, with his ten attempts on the third stage, has now made it to this stage more times than Smokey. He has now passed Drago's seven stage three attempts. It's a real case between him and Re. Who is the greatest competitor of all time? He's now going up the globe grasp. Getting the jump spot on. And 
Gets the exit off nicely. On to the devil steps. He won't underestimate this obstacle. Puma may have got past it, but it's already taken out two competitors. Gotta get each of these jumps spot on. Get your crouch right. He is making his way up to the very top. And then transfers across. And now he's got to throw himself back down. But not too hard, otherwise he'll shoot off the other side of the steps. And he gets the save jump nicely. Now he comes face to face with the cliffhanger. He was the first person to defeat this version of the cliffhanger, but that was on MCC. Can he do it on Halo 5? Takes a save jump just to be sure to get onto that second ledge. Lines himself up, sets himself up. Smokey slides a little bit, but it's still the same result. Smokey has never failed a cliffhanger, and he keeps up that record. He beats the shin cliffhanger on Halo 5, and now he's making his way through the jumping bars. It's easy to not notice, but Smokey is flying through this third stage at the minute. There is no time limit. He's still making it look easy. Going through the hang climb. Getting the jumps right. I haven't seen him slip up or come close on any of these jumps so far. On anywhere on the course, this guy is a behemoth. He is magnificent. But can he do the spider flip? This is the obstacle he failed last time. This jump here. He's obviously got it in his mind, but he doesn't make the same mistake. That'll be a weight off his shoulders, and he makes the transfer with ease. Lands on the ledge as well. Smokey is flying through this course. He is on to the last obstacle. Is Smokey about to make it to the final stage for what would be a record third time in his Ninja War of Halo career? He just about makes the landing onto that first ring. It almost looked like he came up short, but he got it right. Lands on the second ring, and unlike Puma, he is not going to go full speed. He's going to set himself up, taking his time. This jump is massive. This is a huge jump. Smokey is right to be cautious, right to take his time and set himself up before he goes for it. it looks like he's getting ready to go. He eyes it up. He goes for it. But it's not good enough. Smokey is out. And Tournament 20 is over. Smokey Massacre, our grand champion, was making the course look like a piece of cake. He flew through that cliffhanger once again, and he demolished this hang climb. The spider flip, he got his revenge on from last time, but that final jump is so tough. He got so close to making it. He was so, so, so close. Atlantic couldn't really see how close he was from that angle. But he is gutted that he will not be able to watch Smokey take on the final stage. Smokey Massacre comes up just short of beating the third stage. But for whatever it's worth, Smokey, it was a great performance and a great comeback tournament. We started out with 100 competitors, but in the end, all 100 were defeated. This tournament was a unique one, as well as a landmark one, as for the first time ever, we saw an exact split of 50 new faces and 50 returning competitors, including some from the past like Irish 1200 and Soul Reaper 1025, amongst others. After the demolition that happened on the first stage in Tournament 19, our competitors made great steps forward in this tournament. Even those that didn't clear Stage 1 made great strides and great improvements on their last attempts. In Stage 2, the nine competitors then became five, which meant for the first time on Halo 5, we saw more success than failure on Stage 2. And whilst all of the final five were ultimately defeated by the third stage once again, there is no doubt uh, the competitors are getting closer. Flame and Swan made great steps forward by reaching the third stage for their first times this tournament. Ump had a great comeback tournament to make it back to the third stage. 
and Puma and Smokey are undoubtedly the top two competitors on this course right now. But in the end, none of them were able to make that extra little step to reach the final stage, and we will not be crowning a new champion in this tournament. After 20 competitions in this course's history, with each tournament harder than the last one, we have seen hundreds of competitors. Some go on to establish themselves as stars in this course's history, and others who have then made tearful goodbyes. But ultimately, there have only ever been two challengers that have managed to go all the way and can truly call themselves Grand Champions. But I can honestly say that the variety and the quality of our competitors has never been greater than it is today. So many competitors striving for success. So many people from so many different backgrounds determined to become the next big thing, whether that be as an all-star or to become a rising star. And there will be another tournament, another chance, another opportunity for our competitors to showcase their skills and chase their dreams of glory. Whether that's clearing stage one or whether that's going all the way to become a champion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tournament, this landmark 20th tournament. If you have, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon for Tournament 21. Until then guys, this has been Tournament 20, I've been Hunting at 751, and we'll see you guys again very soon.